Hi, my name is Alexandra Gonzalez and I am a student teacher um, AC through 6. Right now I'm in the Pasadena ISD district and I am teaching at Morales Elementary School 4th grade math. Um, a little bit more about myself is that um, I speak two languages which are Spanish and English. Um, Spanish was my first spoken language and growing up I got English intertwined. Obviously when I started going to school I started speaking more English and now I can say that I probably speak more English than I do Spanish which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing but <laughs> yeah. Um, in terms of experiences when I was younger I wanted to learn um, French and so I had downloaded an app called Duolingo and I was learning like the common words and phrases and I was really getting the hang of it but then I guess as I was going through it since I was doing it on my own I kind of got discouraged because there were some words that I couldn't really pronounce and I thought to myself like oh I'm not really gonna use this language and so I just kind of stopped um, learning French although I still know a couple of words and phrases here and there I'll understand them but it was just, um, I guess I just wasn't as motivated as I was in the beginning to learn the language. Because like I said, I didn't really have the time and I was not as encouraged as I was in the beginning. Um, also, whenever I was in high school, I took AP Spanish for like a week. Um, and for me, that was, it wasn't hard, but it was definitely different. You know, we're used to taking all these seven English classes. Um, in school and I was basically thrown into this AP Spanish class and although I do speak English and I know the language and everything I do speak Spanish um, it was hard for me because I'm not used to like translating English to Spanish and so in that class we would get our prompts in Spanish and we would um, record ourselves in Spanish and I remember one time walking in I had um, written the prompt in English and the teacher was like what are you doing uh, this is a Spanish class you, you write in Spanish and I was like oh yeah like I didn't even think about that um and so for me I just felt like that was going to be hard like transitioning from speaking and writing in English to speaking and writing in Spanish like completely for that whole class and so I kind of dropped it and I got out of it um I also remember um in fourth grade that I had an Italian teacher um, she was part Italian and so sometimes she'll get like phone calls from her phone and I would hear her speak in Italian and I thought it was the craziest thing ever you know as a fourth grader I was like wow like this is interesting and there were some words that I did understand from her whenever she would speak that language uh, but again there was some words like once they were all put in a sentence together that I was like, I don't know what she's trying to say. <laughs> and so I just thought it was really interesting and I was glad that I got to experience her culture and um, her language as well. I thought it was really cool. Um, in terms of my teaching philosophy about how language is best learned, um, definitely it's best learned by making flashcards, having the word in English on one side and then having you know, the word on the other side in the other language. Um, I feel like that is how it is best taught. Um, not to mention that um, practice makes perfect. You know, if you're practicing the language every day and if you're in the classroom every day learning it, you can definitely learn common words and phrases and maybe even, maybe even more. And not only learn about the language, but learn about the culture and just about, um, you know, what they do you know where they live and stuff like that um i could help the eol students develop english linguistic skills by pairing them with someone who is fluent in both languages that they need so i remember in my first whenever i student taught um well not student taught whenever i was in last semester um at pomeroy i was in a dual language class and so one teacher would teach them in English and another teacher would teach them in Spanish. And so my teacher, she would pair them up with someone who spoke English and Spanish to someone who just spoke Spanish to kind of guide them and help them out. Um, definitely having worksheets for them in both languages would be helpful. And 
yeah, I think that's how they will learn the best.